Hey guys, Tony the Story Stars at SAS, and welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. So today we have the EP Carrero's uh, consumer feedback review kind of package. It's called the uh, Ask Ask Pay. Um, I went out of my way to go get this. So this is how it looks like, back and front. When I saw the announcement. From Half Wheel, I was like, I have to get this because this thing suits me very well. Why? This is literally how my freaking passport looks like. I can't show you my passport, but this is how my passport looks like. Okay. For those people that don't know, these are the immigration stamps. <laughs> when you travel through different locations and these are the places I freaking go. All right. This China. China. All right, China. It's all different location of China, different date. Uh, I think I saw a Hong Kong one. Uh, Hong Kong's in the corner right here, Hong Kong. Uh, there's Madrid. Uh, I think there's a Sydney. And Sydney, Australia is one place that you will transit a lot too. Um, when you go around and, they, and then they have a 90 day, 90 day only, uh, stamp for visitors with a 90 day visa, tra tra travelers visa, uh, do, 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 do. I can't find, and there's a Vietnam right here, Vietnam. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's how my freaking passport looks like. They just stamp with a date on it. Uh, a lot of times they don't care what stamp is under it. They just stamp. So. I'm gonna try one of these or a series of these and put this video on, I guess, and then and then choose which one I like best, I guess. So let's go. Uh, now, if I can open this thing, this video is gonna be long. And I, I think I'll put all three parts together so you're not waiting uh, to see which one I like the best. So, whatever that is. This is going to be a long video. I'm not going to do a three part, I think, because you now what's the point to, 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 to do a three part if you got to wait like three months to find out what I like, right? So <clears throat> this is this is what we got to do. Right, but in the beginning, we always have introduction. We always have um, show the box. So this thing I absolutely love. Whoever's idea is to put immigration stamps on this thing, you got me, okay? <laughs> As somebody that travels to Asia all the time, you got me. That's like, yes, that's what I do. So, uh, ask, ask, uh, ask, capade means adventure, means, you know, trying something out, exciting. So, inside is like this, which is pretty nice as well. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, it says take the leap. There's three cigars right here. And embarking on parallel adventure with the blah, blah, blah. Read it yourself. Pause it, you know, and read it. Okay, so can I find some information on this cigar that I can provide? Uh, I think that would be a very challenging thing to do. Learn about sampler. Um, I don't think it tells me what. No. Nope. So, um, 
Let me go to see if I can find at least some information. And yeah, before we start this, because I want to give some information so that we can have an idea what they are. Be right back. Okay, so we're back. <clears throat> so all I know is that they are Toro, 6x52. Wyan's going to have Nicaraguan Corojo 99 wrapper. The other one's going to have Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper. And the third one will have Ecuadorian Habano wrapper. So, Ecuadorian Habano, uh, Ecuadorian Connecticut. I think Ecuadorian Connecticut is the lightest one. And that this is probably the Corojo, I don't know. And the darkest one is probably Habano. So, we'll start with the green. Yep, the, 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 the green one. Because the green one kind of catch me first. I don't know. Like, bright color, nice, and all that stuff. So, green one first, all right? Green one first. Green one first. Obviously, we don't know the blend. Cedar. <clears throat> Cedar. Pretty much it, cedar. That's cut and light. Cold draw. Cedar. There's, there's nothing. Maybe hay. Salty. Cedar, salty, a little bit bitterness. A little bit of hay. Well, well, without killing too much time, we'll be back right after I do one third. Alright, so I got food the first third. It's burning funny, and it doesn't taste good. <laughs> it's so bitter. It tastes like medicine bitter, like those powder medicine. Like if you take a, like acetaminophen or Avio or something, like crushed it up and just put it in your mouth. That kind of bitter. I don't know. I was hoping this... Uh, over time, it'll get better, but it's really bitter. I, I guess I'm more sensitive to this kind of bitter, and um, and that makes me think that it's it's a it's a corojo of some sort, and you know didn't age well enough or something. But oh my god, it starts to work it into a more mellow taste. And maybe you call that Cubanesque, but it's so bitter in the beginning. Just like the opening is just bitter. I, I would say this green one is probably Corojo 99, the one they're talking about. It's not peppery. It's not very cedary. It's bitter in the first third. So yeah, let's get right to it. Second third, be right back. All right, second third. It's still bitter. I don't know why. Like I could taste that bitter. It tastes like medicine, but it's got... I don't know. It starts bitter and then ends with that little bit of sweetness. Uh, maybe a little bit earthiness. That's all I can taste with, over that, that bitterness. Um, it's not very good. This green one is not very good. So, I can kind of guess which one this is. I don't know why because usually this wrapper are good. People like it and try to put it in things. But somehow this thing just tastes bitter. bitter. I, I don't know what's wrong with this. Maybe it's because like, you know, when they blend it, it tastes right and brought it over here, it didn't taste right. I don't know. I mean, now that we're the last stir, 
yeah, it's still bitter. Like I, I wanted to taste all the other stuff, but this bitter just overwhelms everything else. So I, even if I taste it right away, that bitter just goes through. This, this, I, uh, I can tell this is my least favorite right now. It's unfortunate. So yeah, let me finish last stir. We'll go to the summary of this one. And then uh, we cut right to the next cigar. And then the cigar after that. And then at the end of this video, you'll know which one I choose. Be right back. Anyways, now it's done. This is the green band. This is the green band. I think what this is, I, I'll probably reveal it at the end after I smoke all three. But that's that's that. And so far this one, even though it's the first one I smoke, I'm pretty sure this is my least favorite. Least favorite one, green band. All right. So now we'll go right to the next one. Be right back. Okay, so the next one is gonna be the purple one, which we don't know what it is, but I kind of have a good idea what the previous one is. So, purple one. Super cedary. I'm gonna call this a Connecticut. Yep. Now, cut and light. If I can find a cutter, I can light it. Cold draw. Cedar. A little bit hay, cedar. Maybe a little bit leather too, a little bit. Yeah. <clears throat> Light it up. Hopefully this is not as bad as the green one. Oh my God, that green one was bad. All right. The base tone is very similar to that green one. It has spice. It's spicy. All right, it's spicy. So I guess it's not Connecticut then. This amount of spice is quite a bit of spice. Ooh, it's spicy. Oh my god. Alright, it's very spicy. Both at the nose, on my tongue, in my mouth, it's all spicy. Very spicy. Cedar, definitely some cedar. Leathery. A little bit of, uh, I think, mineral. Very, 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 very spicy. Ooh, All right, I'm gonna smoke one third. Be right back. Oh, I need something to drink. Holy crap. So here we go. One third. You know, I keep thinking that this might be the Habano because it's spicy, but the flavor under no is not Habano-esque. I don't know. It, it tastes like a really boring cedar. Uh, a little bit of sweetness here and there. I don't know where it came from and pepper. So that pepper had to come with something else because all the other flavor, and like also I think there is dry peanut shells are in there, but not like a Habano-esque. But overall, it's still better than that green. So one third of the way through, I'm gonna dust this off so that more of the flavor will go through like as is. And we gotta see, cause right now this is, it's already better than the green. Better than the green. So we'll move forward. Second, third. Be right back. All right. So it starts to taste a little bit sweet. It's like a sweet cedar-ish thing. It has just that, like, that teeny, tiny, teeny, tiny bit of, of pepper. 
So I will say this is the Connecticut that they added something in there. But it starts to taste a little bit sweet. A little bit creamy. I'm gonna think this is the Connecticut. Not too bad. Not too bad. Um, still have a little bit of pepper going on. It's not very boring if it's a Connecticut. But overall, the main notes are kind of boring. It starts getting sweet though. So we'll see. Maybe the last third is better. Finish it real quick without dragging this video to a million years. Be right back. All right, finished up. Nothing very special. It did get sweet a little bit at the end, but nothing very, very special. Um, with the exception that it has a little bit of pepper. It tastes kind of typical. So I wouldn't say it's like out of this world. I wouldn't say it's bad. It's just normal for this purple, purple band. Purple band. All right, so the next one, it's gotta be the red band. Let's go straight to the red band. All right, so last one. This is, I will say red. Yeah, red. I want to see, I want to call it like a coral or something like that. But if you look closely, that's like a red with like gray lines on it that makes it look like coral. But red, last one. That just smells cedary as well. Huh? Sweet and salty, what? And cedary? Okay, fine. Very similar. Pull draw. Let's go. Light this up. Another fan. <laughs> it's weird. It's salty, sweet, cedary. Woodsy and has a little bit of other note going on. Oh, pepper starts to come out. Pepper is going through my nose. So this pepper. There's pepper. Um. Some sort of grain note. Some sort of like a very heavy creamy note, but grainy. Definitely pepper. Yeah, there is some sort of a, a, a note that's going on that ends a little bit bitter, but as soon as it gets bitter, the pepper goes through. So, let me smoke one third. I'll be right back. I don't want to do it too long. All right, I'm going to say this is probably the best one out of the all three. <clears throat> and this is probably the Habano because it's got that little bit of that salty mustiness. It's a little bit more complex than uh, what color was that? If I can find the band, I'll remember what color that is. Purple. It's, it, you know, it, it's a little bit more complex than the purple. It has a little bit of saltiness going on and peppers throughout. Not like the purple, which the 
the pepper just kill you in the very beginning, and then it kind of just meh. But this one's more like a throughout. It's out pepper. Overall, it's a better taste. It's, it's a it's a way better taste. And now it starts to taste like a hay and salty grain kind of thing. It tastes good though. It's like almost appetizing. So we'll see. Second, third, be right back. The smoke I'll put on this cigar is pretty good. But it's kind of weird because the second, third, somewhere here, I keep tasting. Um, Steamed Chinese ravioli or well, steamed Chinese dumpling. That doughy, uh, like a steamed dough taste. But you also get saltiness. You also get cedariness. You get, also get this a little bit of sweetness somewhere. This is probably the best out of three. And I'm, I'm very convinced at this moment. Smoke out, please. It's great on this one. Yeah. It's got more of a woodsy tone. More balanced. Even that little bitter note kind of tastes good. That bitter note comes with that saltiness. Kind of tastes good. This is the better cigar. Like, I would think that, you know, E.P. Carrillo, when they blend the three, when they taste the three, it's like, if we can tell, obviously, which one's the, uh, the better one, I think they could tell. I think they should be able to tell that the other two was significantly less better than this one. I don't understand it. So, but... Thanks for that. I was able to get that box, which I love that box. So, Luster, finish up. Let's talk about all three together in the summary. Be right back. All right, guys. I'm not even going to lie. For some reason, I lost the last part of the video. So, I had to record something, basically give you the summary. So, basically, the green one was the worst. The purple one was second worst. And I think the red one was the best. And I think it's so obvious that they didn't even need us to vote because I think the difference in taste is very, very obvious. Like the green one has no chance whatsoever. That's the first one I smoked. It has no chance. And the red one was significantly better. So I don't even know why they use this as, I mean, I'm happy that they came out with these kind of stuff that looks really good. You now you can keep the box and whatever as a decoration and all that stuff. I, I like it. But I didn't think that it was necessary and even need to be voted because I think the blender themselves can tell what's wrong with the other two. So if there's a problem with the other two, it's kind of obvious which one is going to win. I didn't vote, but I'm, I'm glad that I get to try it. And because I tried it, you know, I got to review for you guys and that's the result. So I hope uh, you guys also tried this thing. It's kind of cool that you try it, but at the same time, I feel like they should have put something like three that are really close in terms of quality and flavor that you have to, it, it's hard to choose. Like this one was so easy to choose. There was no need to even figure out which one. All right, after I smoke out three, it's like, what is the point? Like if I smoke the first one as red, I'm gonna be very disappointed. Because I smoked the first one as green, I guess I was like, oh, at least it's better. At least that's better. So, you know, it, it wasn't just released a red. The only, I, I think the blender knows what tastes good and what doesn't. And, it, and something like this is only to show you that you as a consumer have no idea what you want. <laughs> yeah, because you came out with the idea and then that became the green one. It was so bad. So I think that's what it is. Anyways. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you like it, uh, like, subscribe. Let's get on the train to get to 100. I mean, not 100, 1,000. Um, and and we'll, we'll go from there. But yeah, this is a long review. I apologize, but I wanted to put all three together. 
It took so long because I could not find that last clip where I give the summary. I cannot find it, but yeah, the real one went. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.